Good morning, everybody. Today's Monday. Steph's rented out all day in the triaxle. We got Ken, who's the only other guy with the AZ. He's hauling some more topsoil to stone, etc. So that leaves me to haul the 308. So that's what this is gonna be. This is gonna be me floating around the 308 and the continuation of my day. So we're gonna finish chaining this up. I'm gonna do my circle check on it and we're gonna get things started. Let's have a great day. here right now and Cody is unloading Corey's getting stuff ready we got Ron's pumping they're just pumping out the septic tank 
we're gonna get this thing unchained and then I'm gonna go back to the yard and carry on with what I need to get going on. All right. Okay, hopefully you guys can see and can hear me. I got you in the cab. We're in the Western Star tractor right now. It's a big sleeper in behind me. It's a little messy in here. Don't comment on the messiness. I know it needs to be cleaned a little bit in here. But I just dropped off the 308. And now we're headed back. I'm gonna go back. I got a meeting at 9.30. And I gotta go pick up a check from a guy this afternoon for topsoil. We got 19 loads to him. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day for me. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Traffic on Greenland Road, who would have thought? probably the video that you guys watched before this one came out this is probably gonna be Wednesday's video so happy Wednesday everybody hopefully your Wednesday is going good bit of a crazy week we are so busy with work right now it is unreal could not be more happy with how things are going this summer We're trying to find a truck driver, guys. If anybody knows of a guy who has an AZ truck license, get them to contact me and I'll hire them. We are short on truck drivers and it's hard to find truck drivers in the city. We pay competitive wages, friendly, family-oriented work environment. That's what we offer, benefits, I'm back at the yard and I see something here that catches my eye. The old man's Corvette. It's nothing fancy, it's just an 07 Corvette. But it's sitting here. And I need to go get some coffees. Now I've only ever driven the Corvette once and he was with me. But I've been selling a lot of topsoil lately. What do you guys think? Should I uh, see if the keys are in it? Go get some coffees? All right, let's do it. Moment of truth. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go get coffees and I'm not gonna tell my dad about this. So, he's gonna find out when he watches this video, which is gonna be freaking hilarious. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks, Dot. Really needed those coffees. <laughs> there was a CD in it, and I turned it on. <laughs> it was Nin Sync. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> now that's Corvette music. Okay, so I made it back in the Corvette in one piece. Didn't end up getting coffees, just sending invoices, dropped off an invoice to Akon. Uh, yeah, it's I don't like it because it's not mine <laughs> and it is intensely fast. Uh, who would have thought that a Corvette was fast? Um, but yeah, I don't like it because I don't own it and if I keep driving it, I'll probably have to pay to put some tires on the rear end of it and I don't want to put tires on it. So I'm going to hop out and hop back in my Tundra. Okay, I know I'm not supposed to be driving and GoProing, but we got coffees, uh, and you guys don't rip on me. I went to Starbucks. I like the Starbucks coffee, and a lot of you guys are going, oh, Starbucks, that's for girls. It's not for girls. It's for real men who like real coffee. Ah. Okay, so I think later on, we're going to start a podcast, and it's going to be a completely kind of different thing that's going to be more R-rated, uh, more kind of true to my speech where I'm not watching myself as much with what I'm saying. If that's something that you guys are interested in seeing, comment down below and say podcast yes. Obviously I would do a visual podcast as well. I would make it available so that you can listen to it on Spotify, Google Play, and iTunes and the podcast app as well as probably open up another YouTube channel and have a visual podcast because I watch a lot of visual podcasts like Joe Rogan, uh, and I guess my brain short-circuited there. Uh, I literally had to cut out like five more seconds of me going, uh... So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that uh, my brain short-circuited. And uh, I don't know if I'm capable of running a construction company anymore. But yeah, what do you guys think of that? Let me know down below. We're going to get Gabby and we're going to go get some mics today for that. That's not happening right this second. I'm just filling you in on what's going on. First, we need to get Cal... Cal. First, we need to give Al his coffee, and hopefully he doesn't mind Starbucks coffee. I know he's not gonna like it, but he won't tell me that because he's too much of a nice guy. Ow. All right, guys, so, bit of an issue. We, uh, Al was screening here, and he noticed a bit of a hole, like what happened in our last screener, or top screen. I'm just climbing up here to show you guys. See, I'm on the conveyor all the way to the top. So, we got another hole in the screen. I don't know if it's something that I'm doing wrong. We tightened it at the two hours, two day, and two week mark. We had a guy from Power Screen actually out here. He told us that it was all good. Um, but I just don't know anymore. Uh, I don't know why we keep blowing these holes in the screens because it's really just time consuming and annoying to have to deal with. As you can see, Al is currently down there having an awesome time. Hey Al, you love your job? Absolutely, bro. <laughs> yeah. So we're dealing with that right now. We're dealing with it in a positive way. Basically what Al's doing is he took a chunk off another screen and he's C-clamping it onto the hole to kind of patch what went wrong. Um, I contacted Peter from Power Screen. He wants a picture where I'm gonna send it over to him. And hopefully maybe, we're, oh, I mean, we're gonna have to get a new screen. So I'm gonna have to order a new screen. Now this screen is an inch and a half screen. I'm gonna order an inch screen um, just so that I can have some cleaner material. I think that now that things are drying up, we'll be able to run an inch screen. So yeah. Um, the whole left side of this screen is totally discombobulated and Al's putting a new uh, patch on it. So that's what we're dealing with right now. He's almost done and then we're gonna fire back up because the problem being is that we have a crazy amount of soil that needs to go out. We have a lot of customers depending on us to have a lot of soil made up. So he needs to quick fix this for now uh, kind of band-aid fix it, spend the rest of the day screening soil, running it through, um, and then when we have a chance and the new screen comes in, pop it in and then fire back up. Um, obviously it's not ideal, but that's just 
part of it, really. I mean, that's just part of running a topsoil operation. There's, you're gonna have hiccups, you're gonna have problems, but am I gonna get hung up on this and pissed off or, or mad or, or disappointed? And, and no, not at all, because it happened. There's a hole in it. Al resolved it, he's putting a Band-Aid, he's fixing it. And all we can do is order another one, put a new one on and carry on. Um, no point in getting hung up on the past. We're looking towards the future and uh, the future's bright. That's why I got my sunshine glasses on. All right, he's finishing this and we'll get her done. All right, I'll need some dry material. I just was in the shovel for a little bit and then realized, hey, I need to bring you guys along with me. So that's what we're gonna do. Find some dry material, find some good material, put all this bad stuff behind us and work hard and get her done. Let's do it. Okay guys, it's raining, Al's there. I'll tell you the story about how I found that red sand later. But we gotta shut things down right now with the old man in the tundra. And yeah, so we ended up finding a little bit of red sand. Top secret operation we got going on, but now I don't have to import it, which is a very good thing. And if you notice, my case video is down. I'll explain that all in another video. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's down and it's removed. Um, but I'll explain all that in the next video, but it's starting to pour rain right now. It's just uh, 10 after 5 right now. Al's gonna shut it down because we do not need wet soil. I got more soil going out tomorrow, trioxal load after trioxal load. Things are looking forward. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I appreciate it. Thank you very much and we'll catch you on the next one. Okay, and I didn't forget about you guys, the true patriots of the channel that are watching the entire video, which is right now. If you watch the entire video, comment down below, red sand. Because we ran into a pile of red sand and I'm super happy about that. So if you watch the entire video, I appreciate it. Comment down below, red sand. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, have it on our Instagram, at KWC2000. I appreciate you guys and we'll catch you on the next one.